What is going on, guys? Frank the Tank here, back. Another episode of MLB The Show 16. And of course, we are back on Diamond Dynasty. So it seems like the servers are getting a lot better, which means we can get some Diamond Dynasty gameplay, which I'm very happy about. Um,. I've been doing a ton of conquest mode, a ton of my franchises and stuff like that. Um, but we're getting into Diamond Dynasty. You guys have seen the pack openings over the last couple days. Just trying to pull a bunch of packs so we can get a team together, you know, get some stuff to uh, sell, things like that. So right now we're sitting at about 26,000 stubs and we have a few positions we need. Now I'm not going to give you guys the full team yet because uh, I got a couple surprises on the squad. I'm really happy. And excited for you guys to see but we've been doing some grinding definitely have been doing some grinding in the past couple weeks uh, mainly the last week I've been playing a ton I've been playing way too much uh, which is good and bad but you guys have been supporting the videos I appreciate that uh, you guys have been very active in the comment section doing my best to reply to every single comment that I get and I think I'm pretty successful with that so far uh, but for this video we are checking out a couple positions we are first going to look at center fielders. Yes, we need a center fielder. Now, I think I can go back and look at missions, or the captains. So we are at rank 34 on Josh Donaldson. We have 969 tickets, and we need 1,100 for Yoena Cespedes. So I do want to get him. Now... I have a lineup set right now. I was playing a couple games with a team with the plus 75 clutch so we could get more of those tickets. If you guys know any way to get more of those tickets, let me know if there's any like things you could do because it says I've completed that 16 times. And 16 times 25, which you only get the 25 tickets for doing it. 16 times 25 is only 400. So it, we obviously don't just get tickets from doing that captain mission, so uh, let me know if you guys know any other way to get those tickets. So I could try to do something specific to speed that process up, but we probably are going to get that Cespedes. We have three days to do it. I think we should be able to get him, uh, but that's the mission or the captain set we're working on. So if we head to community market, we're going to sort position by center field. Uh, that thing's going to be popping up. I have tons of orders placed for, uh, or I'm selling a bunch of things. But So we look here. You know, Mike Trout, way too much. McCutcheon, way too much. Plus, we're going to be starting our Pirates franchise. Operation Sports Forum rosters. From what I understand, they should be out sometime next week. Middle or late next week. Uh, one of my inside tips gave me that information. This 93 Grady Sizemore. I want this card so bad. <laughs> Uh, Grady was one of my favorite players, you know, 2004 through 2007, eight ish, um, when I was really watching a ton of baseball. But Carlos Gomez, not a bad option here. Um, decent numbers, 91 speed is great, 88 fielding is good, 89 clutch is good. Uh, hitting numbers are pretty decent. They're a little low right now with the inside edge, uh, but that's only a daily thing. Only problem is I hate Carlos Gomez playing for the Brewers for so long. Uh, such a dick just to everybody you know pirates and stuff huge showboat don't get me wrong i don't have a problem with bat flips and showboating and stuff but he was just took it to another level so we don't want him cespedes we can get him for uh, i don't want to say free but you really don't buy those tickets you just kind of earn them over time and you really kind of forget about them uh so yeah i'll say free we'll get that cespedes for free pretty soon lorenzo kane is on my diamondbacks franchise even though he's injured, that'd be a great pickup. 81 contact against righties, 85 lefties, 89 speed, and the 93 fielding, uh, fielding is fantastic. But since we're already playing with him, now these are two guys I'm considering. AJ Pollock, I know he's out for the year, but you know the contact is great. The power, if we connect well, we're going to hit it out. 85 fielding and 75 speed is pretty good. He could play all three outfield positions. And then Adam Jones, you know, the power across the board or power and contact are kind of the same across the board. Uh, 63 speed is less than Pollock. 92 fielding is great. Um, I really think I want AJ Pollock. So AJ Pollock is up for about 6,000 stubs. We're going to go ahead and purchase that. 
So AJ Pollock is going to start in center for us for the time being. Maybe if we get that Cespedes, uh, maybe we'll keep him. We'll see how he plays, and we'll you know we'll kind of play it by ear. So we're going to go back to our filters, and now we need to look at starting pitching. So we'll shuffle on over to starting pitching. Now you can get really, really good silver pitches for not a lot of stubs. Um, we're gonna take a look, we'll shuffle over a screen or two. Actually, this is like four screens. All right, so say we're down here at, you know, 79. James Paxton, I always use him. 495, I'm gonna debut the budget squad pretty soon. He will probably be on that. Gio Gonzalez, 80, uh, 80 overall, 160 subs. Henderson Alvarez, good stamina, decent velocity, decent break. Uh, you know, a lot of these guys, Julio Terran, you know, 76 break, you know, five pitches, 90 stamina, 600 stubs. I mean, um, that's really good. 83 velocity, 73 break for Andrew Kashner, under 500 stubs. You know, a lot of these guys, as if you know how to spot pitches, this Aaron Nola is really good as well. But if you know how to spot pitches and you know how to pitch against certain hitters, the ratings for pitchers really don't matter too much. You know, you could do as much damage with a with an 82 Liriano as you can as a 99 Kershaw, and I genuinely believe that. Um, I don't invest a lot in pitchers simply because you cannot pick them. Like, if I could pick who I wanted to start when I wanted to start, I would do that. But these prices for these pitchers are outrageous. And, you know, last year I think I had a diamond, I forget exactly which pitcher it was, it was a diamond pitcher though, and I went like 15, 16 games before I even got to use him, and he cost, you know, 20, 30,000 stubs, I think it was Felix Hernandez, if I'm not mistaken, but pitchers, I really want Syndergaard, I've pulled him like five times, but he's just way too expensive. As you can see, that would take up almost the rest of our stubs. Garrett Cole is a steal for 9K stubs, but we're going to be seeing a lot of him on the Pirates franchise. And that's the thing, you know, running Diamond Dynasty, I have a Pirates, I'm going to have a Pirates franchise. I'm going to have a Padres rebuilding franchise. I'm going to have the Cubs and the Diamondbacks franchise. That's five different game modes. So I'm really trying to use different players um, across all five. So you guys aren't seeing the same players every video that you come into so we're gonna take a look here Masahiro Tanaka not super great on velocity but 97 break with 94 stamina five different pitches he could be very effective for us the other reason I don't want him is because I hate his long windup uh, these guys here all very good but I'm gonna go down just a little bit and we're gonna take a look at Patrick Corbin so Patrick Corbin 88 stamina which is pretty good uh, 72 velocity is okay, but the 90 break and four different pitches, um, the two fastballs, a changeup, and a slider, I think we can do very, very well with him. Also, looking at, let me go over one more page, Carlos Martinez. Now, yesterday they downgraded him from an 85 to an 84. I do not know why. Um, they weren't supposed to do major attribute changes yesterday, but they did do a couple. 91 velocity, 92 break. We are going to purchase Carlos Martinez for the back end of our rotation. And let me know in the comment section, guys. I'm between Corey Kluber, Steven Strasburg, and Patrick Corbin. Let me know who you guys want to see in that fifth starter spot. Now, there's two more pickups I want to make, and I'll go to the main market for this. Now, he has been the story of baseball early in the season, and they just added him to the game yesterday. Really excited that he is in the game now. If I could find him, I should be able to. All right, he's gonna be down here somewhere. Trevor Story. Now the stats on this card, 52 and 58 contact, 70 and 76 power. The inside edge has him really high today. It has that power in the 80s and the contact up in the 60s and 70s. 
I'm going to hold off right now just because it's a bronze card and he has 3,000 stubs. When he comes back down to earth, I will pick him up. Uh, but another card that I wanted to pick up. And we're going to filter by team here. So we're going to go to the diamond bats. And I watched a couple different videos. David Peralta, if you look at that contact and power against right-handed pitchers, 91 and 80. Uh, that's fantastic, and this guy's going to go for 140 stubs, 225 if you buy him now. Uh, we're going to put in a buy order for 170, and I'm sure somebody will do that. So we're going to get that, and we're going to throw it on the bench. Uh, we're going to throw him on our bench and see if we can you know, do something with him against right-handed pitchers. I'm coming off the bench st spot star for a while. Um, so here it is. The moment you have all been waiting for, debuting the squad. So for our starting pitchers, 94 Burt Blylevin, we got him from the Twins. This is going to be the squad we play with for a little while. Got him from the Twins, uh, completing their whole set. 85 Wandy Rodriguez for doing the Astros, 25 players. Bartolo Colon, 85 for doing the Angels. Casimir, 85 for doing the Devil Rays just the raise now and we're going to stick Carlos Martinez in that last spot there so I'm gonna throw Burt up to number one here relief pitchers uh, this video is getting a little long I didn't want to make it this long uh, Tony Watson's a beast uh, Carter Caps I don't know if I'm gonna use him or not uh, the goat Pat Neshek we have to get him in there somewhere uh, probably for Vinny Pistano this 82 Chris Sale was just filthy for some reason he's really good I wish I could start him um, you know the stamina is not good enough to start obviously but that would be nice if they up that stamina so he could be a starter uh, and then closers I have a bunch of closers because they're so cheap like look at this Mark Melanson he's 89 and you know I can't go see his price right now but he sells for like three or four K I unlocked this Axford for doing the Brewers collection I conquered the Brewers and did 1150 innings which took forever uh, this Zach Britton is really good as well. I don't know where I want to throw him in. I'm probably going to throw him in for that sale just because Britton's a gold and I want to use him. This K-Rod is like 2K. And they bumped Roberto Osuna up from 84 to 85, so he is in there for us also. All right, so catchers. Jared Saltalamachia will be our starting catcher against righties. Because if you take a look, contact 80, power 88 against righties. That's fantastic. Against lefties, he sucks. So against lefties, we're going to use his Monty Grandal. And I'm going to show you why. He's a switch hitter. 78 contact and 81 power against lefties. That's really good. His fielding is okay. It's good enough to get by. And we could also stick him at first if we need to. But we won't need, her, need to because our first baseman is 96 Prince Fielder. 85 contact righties, 79 contact lefties, 98 power against right-handed hitters, 96 power against left-handed hitters, 99 discipline at the plate, 85 clutch, 90 durability. Nobody cares about the speed because he is going to be crushing the baseball. Guys, this card took me forever to get. That's what I was grinding at for the past couple days. I had to play 1,050 innings with Brewers players. I had a whole roster of Brewers, and they were terrible. <laughs> you know, we actually won some head-to-head -head games, some nine-inning ones, after the server stopped sucking. But it was mostly three-inning games in Conquest. So, you know, that's roughly 27 innings accumulated per Conquest game. So you guys can imagine how long this took. Really happy to add him to the squad, though. We're definitely going to be chasing some other Conquest players. Uh, but then back up, we have 89, Fred McGriff. Um, this Adam LaRoche is a really nice card as far as power goes, but I'm going to stick with Kendrys Morales. He's such a beast, and it seems like his inside edge is always up. He's up to a 92 right now, so he'll be on the bench. And then we got a ton of other guys here. Look how many cards we have. We have so many cards. Eight Alonzo, five Clint Robinson, you know, six Ryan Howard. The power on the Howard is still half decent, too. Uh, Twelve Jonathan Singleton. You know, we have a lot of cards, so I'm saving a lot of those just because doing the conquest mode, you have to feed players. And it was nice because since I opened so many packs, I had enough brewers to feed 
to uh, get the Prince Fielder without having to buy any, which was fantastic. So here we go. Our starting second baseman is going to be Brian Dozier for the Twins. We can't sell him, so we might as well use him. And then we have some other decent backups as well. Colton Wong, you know, okay hitting stats. He hits a lot better than those stats say, I will say that. And the 80 speed is nice as well. Starting third baseman, we're actually going to start Matt Duffy. Now he's a 78 silver. He's up to an 80 today with the inside edge. But look at the contact. 83 contact, 76 against lefties. 98 clutch, 91 durability. Fielding is pretty decent. He's going to do everything he has to. But he can play third, he can play second, he can play short. So that's why we want him there. He's been hitting really well for us. So we're going to play him for a while. I was also looking at Chris Carpenter, or Chris Carpenter, excuse me, Matt Carpenter from the Cardinals. He's only like 6K stubs, so maybe we'll make a move there. Th uh, shortstop, we have this J.J. Hardy, so we might as well use him. Um, got him for doing the entire Brewers collection. Uh, 83 contact against lefties, 86 power against lefties, 89 fielding. Uh, really, really good shortstop there, so I'm happy with that. Next, Ryan Braun in left field. We're going to stick with him just because I can't sell him, but we're going to have Dominic Brown on the bench. Those power numbers and contact against righty is fantastic. So that he'll be a pinch hitter. Uh, we have his Cliff Floyd too, but look at this guy right here, Corey Dickerson. They bumped him from like a 78 to an 82 yesterday for some reason, but 91 contact against righties and 75 power. That power is 87 with the inside edge. He could play all three outfield positions, so he's definitely going to have a spot on our bench. We're going to remove that Matt Kemp for him. Next, center field, we're going to put in A.J. Pollock uh, as our new center fielder. Until we do that uh, Cespedes, or you know, if Pollock plays well enough, we will just forget about that Cespedes and wait for the next card to come out. So right field now. This is going to be the debut of the 99 Diamond Legend, the great Pittsburgh Pirates right fielder, Roberto Clemente. Really, really good card here. We're going to take a look. We have him in right field. He's a 99 overall. 79 contact against righties and lefties. 75, 74 power. 84 fielding. 84 arm strength, 82 speed. Those are going to go up. I have probably over 500 cards to feed to him. So even the low rated guys will go into his collection. Really excited to play with him. I love Roberto Clemente. You know, probably my favorite, actually definitely my most favorite player of all time. The great one, Roberto Clemente. Welcome to the team. That's going to do it for the squad, guys. We'll take a look at them here. Pretty decent if you ask me. We're at an 88 overall. We can definitely upgrade catcher. Um, probably third base as well. But for right now, I'm very happy. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you are new. Gameplay no later than tomorrow. Frank the